Hello guys, this is Sahi from Tagitwix. Welcome to our channel and in this fifth episode of Sahib reply series on our channel. So guys, in this series, I'll be replying to those questions which I feel should be taken up in a video. So guys, without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, before starting up this video, I have an announcement for you guys that uh, you know that I am a single person who handles this uh, channel Tacky Tweaks. So now I'll be having one another channel that would be based on Hindi only. So if you don't know, Hindi is an Indian regional language and lot of people are actually interested in Hindi videos. So now we'll be having Hindi videos in Hindi also. So I'll give that channel's link in description box. I'll be having that channel uh, in a week or so. So on that channel, if you want to see daily tech news and videos in Hindi, Hindi, you can subscribe to that channel and also guys if you have any sort of name suggestions for that channel please tell me in comment section down below and the best part is that this channel will be also going very strong and in on this channel will be having content only in English so guys let's go on with the first question and it, it is coming from as thus and question is that redmi k6 power or redmi 3s prime I would say I have already made a dedicated for video for that here is a card to that video but I would say that in uh, these two, I'll be picking the Lenovo K6 power. But if uh, budget is not an issue and if you if you can add rupees 1000 more, you can go with the Redmi Note 4. It is much better option. But if you want a compact size smartphone, then Lenovo K6 power is really good. In comparison with the Redmi 3S Prime, you will be getting better display, better sound output and a better camera. But when we, we compare it with the Redmi Note 4, uh, in terms of sound output, the K6 power is better and in other all the terms, the Redmi Note 4 is a much better device. So guys, when we move to the next question, it is coming from VG Sword. He says that no, this is not happening. His device is charging 20% in 5 minutes. So guys, you yourself know that this is impossible. This is even faster than the dash charge, which is currently the fastest thing on a smartphone. And he is saying this on a Moto G4 Plus video which has turbo charge. I know that Moto G4 Plus charges very fastly but this fastly either he, uh, th there is something wrong with his battery or he, is he lying. What are your opinions on that? Please tell me in comment section down below. So guys when we move on to the other question it is coming from Parminder Singh. He says that uh, Bhaji can you suggest me I want to buy a tablet for productivity purpose. He is confused with between a phablet and a tablet. I would say it all depends upon you. So what kind of productivity you do, it depends upon that only. But if you want a productivity tablet, then you must go with the iPads because in Android where we are not having very good tablet. If you want a tablet based upon Android, just go with the Fab 2 Plus or Mi Max in that budget of 15,000. But if you can extend your budget, please go with the iPads because the ecosystem for a tablet is much better on Apple's side. So guys, when we move to another question, he's, it is coming from Sujata Biswas. He says that you said that PC is of 30,000 in your build and now it is coming to 33,000. So guys, whenever I am making a PC building videos, I am always telling that these prices can change. I have given the links of Amazon if you want to buy and if you want to have a look at the current pricing of that product. So if you like that product, you can buy or you can have an idea of that product. Prices can change even now and then even in an hour or so you will see a change in prices. So uh, I am not responsible for that. But the main motive behind video or that video is that I have given you an idea in 30,000 rupees PC. And if you will go to local market and buy that PC, it will be cheap, I guess. In some portions it will be cheap or in some parts there will be cheap on our local markets also. So just go and compare. So guys, the next question is coming from RSR and NSR. He says that uh, he has understood that Lenovo K6 power has heat problem and battery backup is weaker than Redmi 3S Prime. Uh, I don't know from where you have got this news, but it is completely wrong. Battery backup on K6 power and Redmi 3S Prime on both the devices is very good and also guys the Lenovo K6 power has no heating issues I have used that device for 15 days now and even now my friend is using that device and it is working super fine so if you want a compact size smartphone in 10,000 rupees range 
go with K6 power or prefer the Redmi Note 4 which is slightly bigger but better also. So guys the next question is coming from Musical Rohit. He says that by video editing ke liye PC lagega specification. He says that he wants a PC for video editing. So my suggestion is that please tell me your budget what is your budget and guys i want a suggestion from you that i am getting a lot of question regarding the specification of different pcs for young youtubers or uh, like me also i am also a young youtuber so if you want me then i can make a dedicated video for that and if you want me to continue the pc building videos here on this channel as well as on our new channel which will be coming in next week then tell me in comment section down below and for rohit please tell me your budget i'll make a pc for you or oh, no make a pc for you but i'll tell the specification which should be there so guys the next question is coming from imran khan note 4 or cool one so i would say both the devices are really great i have already made a dedicated video for that but if you want a better camera then cool one and if you want a better all rounder device go with the note 4 note 4's battery life is very good So guys the next question is coming from Dhananjay Akundi he says that sir my Lenovo K6 power heats up to 47 degrees celsius while charging so guys basically i am getting this question a lot a lot that why our smartphones are uh, getting heated up while we are charging so guys i am using this galaxy s6 for almost about 2 years now and it has that adaptive fast charging and even when devices like this are uh, heating and also guys there is some sort of uh, heating on the oneplus 3t also then our normal device will also hit the, the, what happens is that the charger is pushing a lot more current 5 volt to 2 ampere is the standard which we are saying excluding in the oppo and vivo which still charges on 5 volt 1 ampere so we are pushing in a lot more current and while our device is charging it will get heated up it's just normal so don't worry so guys the next question is coming from ajay sin when will g5 plus and nokia will launch in india so guys uh, if you don't know moto g5 plus is coming to india on 15th of march if you think that i'll be reviewing that product here is a poll to that thing if you want me to review that product so please answer in poll section and guys also nokia is coming in india in may or june so you will not get the products now only but you have to wait until uh, may or june foxconn is manufacturing the nokia products here in india only so guys the next question is coming from siri siri that he says that he wants to buy a new smartphone in 10000 rupees range and he is confused i would say just add 1000 rupees extra and get the redmi note 4 3gb ram variant it's a brilliant device i'll sum it up over here So guys when we move to uh, another question he it is coming from Jasdev Singh he says that uh, please tell me between Lenovo P2 and Oppo F1s he says that his preference is fast phone brother brother don't buy those oppos and vivos they will get you a very good selfie so if you want a uh, smartphone for just selfie purposes go and grab it but if you want a very good all round smartphone always get Uh, Redmi Note 4 which is really good and even you are considering the Lenovo P2 just go and grab it it is a much better and uh, as you have already said that you want a fast phone then please go and grab the Lenovo P2 it is a very good uh, device having very good battery life but if you want the best performance you can go with the Z2 plus but uh, think that with the Lenovo the software updates are not quick and also guys Lenovo P2 is a great device but if you want the best performance you can stick to Z2 plus only So guys the next question is coming from uh, Naman Kumar he says thank you for all your replies he wants to me to tell a processor in less than 6000 rupees for gaming so i think you are doing a budget gaming build and in 6000 rupees what i can recommend you is that yes i know that you can get the intel pentium g4400 which is a very good processor but if you want you can go with i3 6100 there is two reason for that the first reason is that now as the seventh generation of intel processor is out the price of the sixth generation will be less and also i3 6100 is a much better processor than g4400 so price is less the performance is more and you can get it for around 7000 rupees so my recommendation is i3 6100 
सो गाइज दीज वर ऑल ऑफ द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम टूडेज एपिसोड इफ यू लाइक दिस एपिसोड हिट दैट लाइक बटन एंड ऑल्सो गाइज शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स हु लाइक्स टू नो अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी सो दैट वी कैन मेक अ बिग फैमिली ओवर हेयर एंड गाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्पोर्ट टेक इट विक्स प्लीज यूज द एफिलेट लिंक्स वाइल्ड बाइंग बिकॉज वैन यू विल यूज दैम अवर चैनल विल गेट अ लिटल बिट आउट ऑफ इट एंड यू विल बी चार्ज नथिंग एक्स्ट्रा ऑल्सो गाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फॉलो मी ऑन सोशल मीडिया नेटवर्क ऑल द लिंक्स आर गिवन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स डाउन बिलो एंड स्टिल इफ यू हैव ऑन सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड अनेबल द नोटिफिकेशन बेल सो दैट वेन एवर वील अपलोड ऑन यू वीडियो यू विल बी द फर्स्ट वन टू गेट टू नो अबाउट इट सो गाइज दिस इज साहि फ्रॉम टेक इट विक्स एंड थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग